Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I have a project coming up and I want some Makata for it. Well, I probably shouldn't say Makata as that's a brand name, but I don't know how else to describe it. Layers of fabric pressed together with epoxy. It needs to be pressed quite tightly together, so the first thing is to make something to form it and tighten it down in. I'm just using some scraps of plywood that I'm gluing and nailing together for this. I've got one piece that floats and sits perfectly between the two bits that are attached to the base. I just give the base a little trim up. Then I can use the bit I trimmed off to attach this loose piece to make the top of the press. Now I've got the top and the bottom that fit together, I need a way to actually tighten them down. So I drilled a series of holes down either side of the form. I used a spade bit to widen the holes at one end so the heads of the bolts would fit in. I could then use these holes as a template to drill out the ones on the other piece. The bolts got tapped into place and the heads fitted flush into the holes. Now that the press is made I can actually start work on the Makata. I bought some grey coloured hess in for this. I chose it because it is a really open weave which will give lots of texture. If I just put it all in, the epoxy would stick to the wood and it would never come out again. So I lined it with some waxed paper. I'm only making a small amount so I only needed a small tube of epoxy to do this. The process is very simple but very messy. As you can see I've cut strips of the hessian the size of the form and I layer them up spreading epoxy on each layer. When I have it the thickness I want, well a bit thicker because it's going to be pressed down, I put another bit of wax paper on top and then I can put the top of the mould on. Put the washers on and tighten the bolts down. The making of the Makata only took a couple of minutes, it's making the mould that took all the time. But it should be reusable so if I ever need to do it again I won't have to go through all that. I left it overnight to make sure it's properly dry and then I could get it out of the mould. The wax paper hadn't stuck to the wood at all but it had stuck to the Makata a little bit so I gave it a sand. I'm pretty pleased for my first go at this you can really see the texture of the material in it. That's it all done for now. Next week I'll show you what I'm going to use it for. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.